Hey, Ben from ONGC Systems here. Welcome to the next installment in your SharePoint journey. Today, we are going to take you through using a SharePoint feature called the Document Library. A document library is a collection of all your organization's files and folders. It allows you to manipulate and manage documents for your organization from one location. The power of a document library comes from its management tools, with features like copying, moving, filtering, sharing, and creating new items from one location. First, we are going to open your preferred web browser. ONGC Systems recommends using Google Chrome for the best possible experience with SharePoint. When your home page loads, we are going to click Documents. This might be different in your company, so be sure to reach out if you need any assistance in any step of this walkthrough. Now that the page is loaded, we are gridded with a familiar layout. This is the document library. Here, we can see a list of folders very similar to how they would be seen in your usual file explorer window. The document library can be thought of as your new X drive. This is where you will be creating, saving, editing, and manipulating documents for your company. Where we see the files and folders below is known as the view pane. There are a few important things on this page that will assist you in using the document library to the best of its ability. Along the top, we see new and upload. One other thing to note is the three dots. This is known as the ellipsis, and the symbol on the top right is called the funnel. Let's start with the new button. From here, we can easily create folders, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents. And as you can imagine, it does exactly as it states. Let's click on new folder. We are now prompted for a name. Let's call this folder project management. And click create. As you can see, our folder now appears in our view pane with a little symbol in the top left hand corner. This is to notify you that it is a new item. This little symbol will hang around until someone clicks on this new item. One important thing to note is to make sure we do not fall into old filing habits with SharePoint. SharePoint has a heavily imposed character limit. This means that there are only a certain number of subfolders allowed before SharePoint no longer lets us create new folders in our tree. The trick is to be clear, concise, and try and organize your documents with as few folders as possible. The fewer clicks to get to your document, the better. If you have issues at any stage of the organization process, be sure to get in touch with your SharePoint administrator to find the best solution to your issue. Next, we are going to take a look at getting documents into your new SharePoint environment. The Upload button is one of the easiest ways to do this. Let's click Upload. We are now gridded with three options, Files, Folder, and Template. I have some files to upload, so we are going to click on Files. We are now gridded with the traditional File Explorer window. I'm now going to navigate where I saved my files. In traditional Microsoft fashion, all of your selecting keyboard shortcuts work in this window. We can also select a single document at a time. Once the document is selected, we're going to click Open. When the upload is finished, you'll see a notification on the right letting us know. We are also able to see the document in our view pane with the little new symbol, as we saw before. If it is easier, we can also drag and drop the files, folders, or templates directly from a second window into the viewing pane. Clicking and dragging on the document will reveal a little copy icon. Letting go will upload the document to our view pane, giving us our little new icon and notifying us the upload has completed. Now that we have a new document in our document library, we can manipulate it. Hovering over the document reveals a little small circle on the left hand side. Let's click this. We can now see our selected document is highlighted in a blue or grey colour, and we have some new headings at the top of our viewing pane. Please note that each of these important headings will be discussed in separate tutorials. Today, however, we are going to focus on Move To and Copy To. Let's now click on Move To. We are gridded with the menu on the right-hand side with a list of our SharePoint environment. 
We can now navigate to the location where we would like to move our current file to. Current file is generally where your required locations will be found. I'm going to move this file to upcoming events. At this stage, note we can also make a new folder if required. Now that the upcoming events folder is selected, I'm going to click move here. As you can see, the document has now been moved. Clicking on upcoming events, we can now see that our document is there with a little new icon as we've seen before. The process for copy to is the same, but the original file is left untouched. A new copy is pasted in a selected location. Let's now do this. Select the document, click copy to, back to the current library, and then we're just going to copy it where we got the document from originally. Moving back to our document location, we can now see that our document is moved back to where it came from. Next, we're going to take a look at the funnel or filter key. Let's click this now. We can see here we have a few different options to sort files or folders with. Selecting the date and time, creator, or last editor of the document, or the file type will narrow down the document displayed to find what we need straight away. This can also be achieved by clicking on the column names and selecting filter by. I'm going to filter this document by people by the name of Jane Doe. Now we can see that the accounts folder is the only document that Jane has edited. This has been a look at document libraries and some of the important and useful features that will help you master SharePoint. Today we've covered how to create a new document, a new folder, uploading files and folders, filtering our list, copying and moving a document, and editing a document. I hope you are excited for your SharePoint transition and be sure to reach out to us for any questions or assistance you require.